guys. So today is not tonight is not a Timu night or anything like that. I need to organize all the nails that I've gotten in recently because they are currently taking up space in this tote bag. <laughs> They're taking up space. Let's just put it that way. God. If I look like a bit of a raccoon right now, it's because I probably still have some of my makeup left on from work today. And I know I'm a horrible person because I don't actually wash my makeup off at the end of the day. I just kind of go to sleep in it. So. But, um, Abby is in, she's in bed. Not asleep yet, but she's in bed. So we're going to try to take this opportunity to organize some nails. Um, I have two two brand new 28 compartment boxes here. So that is 56, 56 nails. Um, there's a little bit of room, a little bit of room left in this one. I think this is mostly about, uh, square nails in this one. Um, mostly square nails. I'm trying to keep them so where I have square nails in, you know, set aside in box, certain boxes, ballet style in certain boxes, ballet slash coffin, and then like almond in other boxes, but I may just have to, um, may just have to use what I got. I said I've got, got some room in this one, this, this pack keeps getting stuck to the boxes. Um, I think, pretty sure this is all squares. This one is all squares. Um, this one I think is ballet slash coffin. Um, I was trying to save this 24 compartment one for my long nails. But we'll see. See how many long nails I have. So, I'm just gonna get into it. This is a little mini nail LED light that I got. Nope, that's an angel. Why was I thinking that was the LED light? Never mind. <laughs> that over there for now. Anywho. So, we're just going to get into it. Um, I might show y'all the nails that I'm putting away. So, these are the really pretty ones with the flowers on them. Those would be square. And right now, I'm not differentiating between um, short and long. I can't remember if I can't remember if the last video I did like this, if I just had music playing over it or something. I don't think so. I think I was talking about something. Um, I do try to put some of the um, what you call it? Wait a minute. Did I already get this? Hold on. I can't remember if this is a duplicate. Is this a duplicate? These look identical over here. Oh my gosh. I've gotten these nails twice, y'all. I can't believe I've gotten these nails twice. Because I already have them. At least I have the ones that have the flowers on them. Yeah. I've, I've gotten them twice, apparently. So... I am going to put the other set in the one right below it so that they're together. See? Sometimes when you, you get so many nails built up, you forget what you have. 
It does happen. I've done that a couple of times. It's got a really pretty one in there. Anywho. <laughs> so. So yeah. Apparently I already had those. Oh, I should have brought a, a bag in here for trash. But I did not. Oh well. So I'm just gonna start, probably gonna like pull out a few and then put those away. So, how's everybody doing? Um, I'm good. Work is going. You know, work goes, is going how work goes. Um, these are really pretty. These are cute. With the really bright flowers. Those are cute. Um, no, I'm not going to be linking any of these nails below. Um, if you see some that you need, just absolutely need to know about, um, feel free to ask me in the comments. And please, for all that is holy, give me a timestamp. It timestamp would be helpful. Um, and if you don't know what a timestamp is, a timestamp is simply just the minute, seconds, mark of the video, um, so, you know, if you see something at the 23 minute and 15 second mark, if I hold up a certain pair of nails, let me know. And I think YouTube has got a thing now where you can actually next to the comment it'll say something it'll give you an option to put in a timestamp um and it does that at whatever mark whatever part of the video you happen to be on when you're going to leave the comment it's going to leave that timestamp so be sure you are currently at the point in the video where you would like to find out the information um, I think I just hold those as the ones with the uh, reptile um, uh, pattern on them. Um, I've been trying to get in more hours at work lately. Um, unfortunately, this week the the girl that makes the schedule she gets confused so easily and it's honestly kind of annoying it's kind of frustrating because you know I'll tell her you know I, I just I need to work these hours this week but then next week it's fine it's whatever but she'll continue to schedule me for those same hours even the weeks following it's she gets confused easily um these are almonds these are long ones too i might put these in my long box but i um i told her um I made the mistake of telling her two different scenarios this week for this week and I told her I needed Wednesday night off and Thursday night and Thursday because Annie's going out of town but I also starting the following week ie next week um, instead of having 
Fridays off because I had been having Fridays off. Instead of having the fr every Friday off, I wanted to have a, my day off be earlier in the week. I think, I don't think that's too confusing. I, I mean, it's just my opinion, but I didn't think that was too confusing. So, she schedules me off for, for this week, the week that I said I only needed Wednesday and Thursday off. She schedules me off for Monday and Friday, in addition to the Wednesday and Thursday. And I'm like, I can work those days, that's fine. I don't know. She said, well, you said that you wanted a day off during, earlier in the week. Yeah, next week. I just, I get very frustrated, y'all. I'm sorry. It's just, it's a frustrating situation. Um, these are really pretty. These have really pretty aqua color. Mm, really aqua. They're they're aqua all the, all the way down, but they're they have that really pretty French tip outline on them. But I mean, part of me is kind of glad that I don't have to work. But part of me kind of upset that I'm not going to be getting as many hours this week as I have the last couple of weeks because I have been trying to get in more hours at work even if it means losing our food stamps oh come on now I need to just um, put some music to this because I don't know if I have enough to talk about. <laughs> I don't know if I have enough to talk about um, for however long this is going to take. Here's some more almond. Um, do I have? I need to break out a new box. I think my almond box is full. I love these little 28 compartment um, boxes. They're perfect for the 24 or 30 pack of nails. So these are just some um, Home slash aura nails. Really pretty. And a lot of these nails I'm showing y'all are from my nail hole. A lot of these nails that I'm putting away. So, if you have not seen that yet, definitely go check that out. Um, I have added more. <laughs> I've, I've added a lot more nails to my cart since then, but I'm trying to be more, um, what's the word, uh, discerning about what nails I actually get. Because I already have too many nails as it is, y'all. I have too many nails. These are nice and thick. These are really good and thick. But they're long. They're long. Yeah, those are definitely like long. <laughs> those are closer to like a Halloween nail almost. Why oh, these are taking up so much room? Might need to put these in my long box. Because these are extra long. And they're taking up a lot of space. So, I am going to put these in my other box. Do 
Okay. <laughs> so I guess I did not need to pull out my almond box just yet. Those were long. Those were they're thick too. So they definitely needed the 24, 24 size box size compartment. Um, just some really pretty long ballet nails. Why do I get, why am I getting so many long ones lately? I don't know. But these need to go in the long one as well. Probably gonna fill up my long box before I fill up anything else. But I've just got a lot of long ones here lately. Hope y'all don't mind I turn on something on TV. Or should I, I guess I should just try to talk. Um, the property next to us, the guy came over earlier today and talked to Andy and said that he was going to be able to build, he was going to put up a fence. Um, and he was going to put it about eight inches or so inside his property line. Um, but it's going to be um, what they call a T-bar type of fence. Which is really just a metal fence, metal grating fence. Um, it's not, there's no privacy or anything like that. You can literally clear, see clear through it. Um, sorry. So, um, I'm going to move these to this one. This was one that I already had in there. But these are actual almond. So I'm going to put these in this box. Told y'all I'm trying to keep them separate. Because usually when I get ready to do my nails. I will say okay I want to. I feel like I want to do an almond. Or I feel like I want to do a square. So, in cases like that, I can um, kind of limit which boxes I look in. Are there any other... I don't think there's any other almonds in this box. Man. Yeah, these are all... Okay. I don't think... What is this one? Oh, that's ballet. Okay. Just checking. I must have not had the room. I was keeping these little, these things, but I don't need to keep every single one. So I'm throwing these away. Trust me, there will be more nails in the future. For me to hang on to the adhesive um, tabs. So these are some more long ones. Really pretty with the white and gold. What, I've been getting a lot of long ones lately. And I don't wear them long. I don't like to wear them long. Because then it interferes with my stitching. But yeah, I don't, I don't know if I told y'all, but the, um, our next door people over here, next door neighbors, um, the guy 
is giving the property to his two children and they are splitting it up. So, um, they need to clear out the, like, kind of a wooded area. Um, a, a tree area that's between the two houses. And he's not happy. Because he hates neighbors. Um, and so, that was kind of a buffer between us. So, but the guy, even when the survey guys were out here, they said, yeah, I think, we think he's going to put up a fence, you know, blah, blah, blah. But turns out it's, it's a useless fence. It's, it's a pointless fence. It, it, it offers no privacy or anything like that. So, it's not like it matters. But, um, somebody that he works with, Andy, somebody that he works with, um, her and her husband came over the other day while I was at work to, uh, pick up a couch and thought they were going to bring their three-year-old granddaughter or their niece and they ended up not doing that. These square? I think these are square. So, but they ended up not doing that. Um, but they still came in and got the, the couch. And I think it's a, it was a chair that they picked up too. That was out of the, the house. It wasn't a, a couch or anything that we were going to use. So, it was just taking up space. And he wanted to get rid of it. Um, and while they were over here... They expressed some interest in maybe buying buying the property and fixing it up themselves. They didn't care about neighbors and stuff like that. So, um, he said they were probably going to take out an equity loan and, um, buy the property and maybe pay off some of the additional debt that they had, like to consolidate it sort of thing. Um... These, these are squares as well. These are really pretty. These are just like a black and white. So like I said, I, I go back and forth. I still get squares. I, I get... I'm kinda, I kind of run the gambit of... Of... Uh, nail shapes. The only thing I don't do is like stilettos. Um, and I'm not a fan of like oval and rounded ones because I like the way I say the almond ones and the ballet style and the off like a shorter coffin I like the way they kind of elongate my fingers and when you have chunky fingers elongating them is always a bonus um but that reminds me <laughs> sorry um something I was going to talk about but either or we're still um trying to figure out the whole situation about um well, we're going to move and <sighs> my mom's probably going to need to go in a home so yeah but it's like, it, it's, it all needs to happen basically all at the same time. And we don't actually have a place picked out for us to go. So if we sell the property, we got to have somewhere to go. So we're probably going to have to try to see about procuring my mom's house. Um, it's not a bad house about 40 minutes away um and I think it's the perfect size for us you know Andy disagrees but I think it's the perfect size for us 
you know, it's three bedroom, um, two full baths, walk-in closets in, in the main ba in the main bedroom. It's just, I mean, it's, it's an open kitchen, living room situation. Like I said, it's really a really nice house. And he's not a fan of how it's on a highway. But I tell him it's a highway out in the country. And plus, the backyard is already fenced in. So that would be where Abby could go to play. Anyway, it's just a... what we're going through right now. Really pretty. Right there. But, what I was going to talk about. Um, there's been a couple of things going on <laughs> in a couple of different genres of things that I just Ooh, I just really want to talk about right now. Um, first being, there's a couple things going on in the paranormal community. I'm big into paranormal stuff. Uh, if you're not, I'm sorry. <laughs> you can maybe skip past it, I guess. Um, but, in the paranormal community, there are a couple of things going on. First of all, Conjuring house. Um, as in the house where the actual real life events of the conjuring took place. These are, this is pretty. These, this one is a little big, but this is pretty. It might be my next set. <laughs> anyway, um, it has been run by a new owner for the last couple of years. And here lately, this past week, Things have really started to take a turn for the crazy. Um, she, the lady was starting to charge a ridiculous amount for paranormal investigators to go um, and do her thing. Oh, sorry, I need to stretch my leg out without spilling my nails. <laughs> Sorry. I'm kind of like bunched up on the couch here. But a lot of places will charge a paranormal investigation team, you know, a few hundred dollars, 500, 800, whatever. And it usually tops out at about that much, about five, six hundred dollars in most cases. And there doesn't, there, sometimes there's a clause on how many videos can be uploaded to YouTube about it. Like, if you're a paranormal ghost hunting channel. Um, only, only sometimes. But this, this lady, she is charging something like $1,500 for a larger um, ghost hunting team, ghost hunting channel, sorry, to come and investigate. That's only for one channel to be able to upload a video on the house. They will allow a second channel for additional fee. Um, in case nobody's aware, um, if you, if you don't know about the ghost hunting channels, a lot of times paranormal channels on YouTube, they'll team up, they'll collaborate, and uh, they will go in together, and, you know, a couple of channels, uh, people will team up that have different channels, and they'll go in together and investigate a place, and they'll each shoot their own videos and upload to their own channels. Well, this lady, um, I think her name is Jacqueline. She, I was watching one channel and he was, was telling us about, telling about the cost and everything. And she said that, um, only the one channel 
was allowed to upload to YouTube. And if uh, a guy was like, well, there's three of us that have YouTube channels and only one other channel was allowed that had, I think, the larger of the um, subscriber amount. Only one other channel was allowed to um, upload. And they were charged an additional $800. So, these are... And the guy I was watching, he he decided to let the other guys have it and he's mainly a reacting channel anyway so he said you know you guys go ahead i'll just react to your channels or whatever i swear i dropped one maybe not so the other two channels the guys that he went with they got to upload So that was not, that's not the end of it. Other channels have been reacting to this insane amount this lady is charging for ghost hunting. And the, the stipulations and the rules and the waivers that they have to sign are ridiculous. Um, saying that I don't know how to describe it, guys. It's just it's just completely ridiculous. Um, saying that if any anybody gets possessed or attacked or something about Bigfoot and aliens, like if if you have an encounter with Bigfoot or aliens, it's less than great. Then she's not responsible. And just understanding that that's part of the course. Um, these are squares. But then, one of the guy, the guy that's been managing the property, she fires him um, out of the blue one day and says that the spirit of one of the former owners that died in the 1800s told her that he'd been stealing from her. And he'd been stealing from a cash box that is in the gift shop that has completely got cameras all over the place. And according to the guy, they don't even keep that much money in the cash box anyway because most people pay with credit cards um so this lady is just getting crazier and crazier and if that's not enough um a very big name in ghost hunting um if you've ever been familiar I I cannot believe I bought these twice, y'all. I just realized something. I have these twice. I bought them twice. That's great. Um, I don't know what the nice days are. One must be medium and one must be large. That's medium. That's large. I don't know. Maybe it was intentional. I don't know. Um, handmade nails I'm going to leave out because I have some double-sided tape that I'm going to be getting. And I want to put them in that special box. But anyway. Um, yeah, she fires this guy. And... Like, not even days later, she, um, I'm trying to get this open, y'all, I'm sorry. Um, at like, two or three in the morning, a truck pulls up, or a truck is, is seen on camera, backing out 
of their driveway next to her car. And, and this is on camera now, on, on like a ring security camera. And she, in turn, accuses Jason Hawes, who is from the famous ghost hunting show, Ghost Hunters. Um, and he's done other things too, but she accuses him of being involved in an assassination attempt for a truck that was just pulling out of the driveway of the conjuring house. And according to the videos that I watched, um, this is someone that had had to have been let in because it's gated, I guess. And at two, three o'clock in the morning, you know, there's not gonna be people just wandering around there. So this is, has to be somebody who was let in, probably for an investigation or something. But the fact that she would accuse, just randomly accuse Jason Hawes of an assassination attempt because a truck was pulling out of the driveway is like, that's bonkers, y'all. It's absolutely bonkers. So there's a whole drama going on with the Conjuring House and this lady just getting deeper and deeper into it and I was watching one video today that said you know we may need to and a lot of the YouTubers are saying you know let's we need to back off from giving this lady any of any of our money um but one guy I was watching earlier tonight he said you know this lady she she probably is starting is she's she's basically cracking under pressure of the of attention that the conjuring house is getting um this is square and she doesn't know how to handle it so it's coming off a bit crazy but but basically he was calling for people to um maybe it is the, the right thing to do to, you know, give her space, not just, you know, for the sake of, you know, she's, the things that she's done, but she, she probably needs some space away from, um, the attention that the house has been getting. So I don't know what to think about that. I'm, I'm kind of on the, yeah, no, let's not, <laughs> let's not give this crazy lady any more money. Um, she's it's charging an exorbitant amount for this house. And what people will say is like, it's not even as haunted as it's been hyped up to be. So, um, so yeah, there's a whole drama there. And then there's another drama going on between some other YouTubers that a lot of people probably don't know. Um, is it, is it a stunt? I don't know because I haven't heard much else about it in the last couple of days, but there's a drama going on between a couple of guys. I can't tell if these are square or I think these are squares. I told y'all about a lot of squares. Um, but they were, they're a channel and they started out doing a channel, um, called TFIL. It stands for the forget it league. Or no, the, the list, the forget it 
list. Yeah. The, the freak it list. Um, but, and it was basically like them doing all these different wild adventures, you know, this and that. And things you would want to do before you die. And they started getting more into ghost hunting and paranormal stuff. So they created a, se a separate channel, a new channel, called Overnight. And the, the two main guys, I suppose, you, you know, were supposedly friends. Um, two guys named Elton and Corey. Well, Corey up and quits. And is saying that Elton didn't pay him, was paying him less than minimum wage because Elton was the main one behind the financials, like uh, the whole business side of things. And so it was just really, you know, coming out and attacking Elton and... You know, Elton's, he's coming with the receipts. Literally, the receipts and invoices saying, you were paid this much on this day. You were paid this much on this day. And this guy, for, I think, for a course of 50, 56 days or 59 days, the guy was paid like tens of thousands of dollars. Like a whole bunch of a whole bunch of money and so he's like you know if you hadn't backed out before this next event you know you would have gotten paid another ten thousand dollars but you you quit you backed out but it it was a whole mess and there was slander there was you know Elton came in saying, you know, just proving himself, you know, I'm giving, I've given you the chance to take your videos down before you face legal consequences for, you know, lying and slandering me, you know, trying to bring all this stuff up. So far, nothing else, we haven't seen anything else, so I don't know what's going on with that, but I'm following along with that. Um, these are squares. So, I need a new box. <laughs> I need a new box. I'm out of room. Um, but yeah, that's a whole nother drama. So, that's a, that's a couple of dramas that I'm following along with. Um, and then, I watched a couple of movies over the last couple of days. We went the last weekend, this past weekend, and saw the new Deadpool movie, the Deadpool and Wolverine. And y'all, that movie is so good. It's it's definitely not PG rated, so don't be trying to take your your young kids in there. It's fun, like it's it's an, it's fun for adults. But yeah, don't be trying to take your little kids in there. There is cursing. There is gratuitous violence. Um, but it's, it's such a good movie, y'all. Such a good movie. Um, and, you know, in Deadpool fashion, he, he breaks that fourth wall, left, right, center. You know, that, that fourth wall has no chance. <laughs> um, and I told my boyfriend, um, that only a movie kind of like Deadpool could get away with, you know, putting uh, in sync bye 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 to a, you know, an, an epic fight scene. Or uh, the one scene where Deadpool and Wolverine are, like, they don't get along for most of, for, like, the whole first half of the, most of the movie. Um, and to give you a little bit of a story on, like, what happens, how he teams up with Wolverine. So, Ryan Reynolds, I'm sorry, Deadpool, <laughs> um, he 
gets brought in by the, I want to say TVA, it's the something, the TVA, whatever. Um, and it's the same, I think it's the same organization that recruits Loki in Loki, in the Loki show. Um, but they bring him in to fix a timeline, um, or his timeline is going to be met, or gone, and he has to find a Wolverine because they're telling him that's his, his anchor person, um, across all timelines, that's his anchor person. So he, he has to find a suitable Wolverine to help him fix this timeline issue. Um, and fix his timeline before it goes away. So, he jumps timelines, um, and in the process, like, he, he comes across all the Wolverine variants. Um, the most funny being, um, a Wolverine that's very short. Because, if y'all didn't know... Wolverine in the comics is actually like really short. Like he's like five one or he's five two or something like he's really short. Um and Hugh Jackman is like six something. So um but it's funny because in the, he walks in and you see the Hugh Jackman but then it turns and he gets up off the stool and he's like, Yay hi <laughs> And that was funny. Um but either or, he, Ryan Reynolds finally lands on the Wolverine um, that we get in the movie. And Wolverine is none too happy about having to work with Deadpool, having to work with anybody for that matter. Um, he just wants to be left alone. So they're fighting a good bit in the movie. And. So, there's one scene where they're in a minivan, and they're just, they start arguing again. And they're, they're, they, they literally start fighting in the minivan, like, like, stabbing each other and shooting each other and kicking, punching, and all that good stuff, throwing each other around inside this little minivan. And the music that's playing over this fight scene is um Greece. It's um the was it the the one that I want from Greece? Imagine that playing over that fight scene like that. It's funny. But it's a really good movie. Um there's so many um so many little bits and pieces that you're not going to catch on the first go around. And I told Annie, I'm like, we're going to have to get this on DVD and, you know, maybe watch it again so that you can catch more of what goes on. So, um, when it comes out on DVD and Blu-ray, we'll get it. We'll probably get it and give it another watch. Um, without Abby, of course, you know, <laughs> that's that's a movie that she's not going to see until she's 18. <laughs> so, but yeah. Uh, it's just a really fun movie. I really enjoyed it. Um, my son came over and babysat Abby while me and him went out to the movie and um, to dinner. Although, when we left... Uh, we were, you know, the, the theater that we were going to, they had, like, the reclining seats. So, that's the one we wanted to go see, go to. They had showings, like, every 15 to 30 minutes. So, we're just like, you know, we're not going to worry about trying to catch a particular time. We're just going to go down there and, you know, catch whatever time happens to be playing. So, we get down there. And, I think we get down there, like, right about 5.30. So, we walk in, and, of course... For some reason, um, a front ticket booth is no longer a thing. They've got that s signs in those windows. You got to go inside to the concession stand now and buy your tickets. 
So, um, we go in and we're buying the tickets. I can't tell if these are square or I think these are square. I, I buy in a lot of squares lately, guys. Um, hold on. Where am I at here? Uno momento. Okay. Um, so we go inside to the ticket booth and we're looking, we're asking the kid about getting tickets and he pulls it up on screen you know this is you know the seats that are available and it's mostly full there are no two seats anywhere together in the back part of the theater because we like sitting in the back and so we say okay what about the the five what was it 5 45 or six o'clock show the next one whatever the next one was and so he pulls that up same deal whole back of the theater is mostly sold um so okay what about the seven o'clock show so he pulls that up and there's a couple seats together in the back that are together um that aren't sold yet so we said okay we'll just we'll get the the seven o'clock show so that gives us about an hour and a half um, before the next show. So, so we'll just go ahead and, um, find somewhere close by to eat. So we did, and, um, went to this, um, uh, little Mexican, Mexican restaurant. It was really good. It was a little pricey, but it was really good. And I had a drink. <laughs> uh, it was called a mango nada. And they had it where you could get it either frozen or just on ice. And I got it on ice. Um, it had, um, I don't even know what that stick was. It had a stick in it. I don't know what the stick was. But it was like red. And it was wrapped around a straw. But um, I took that out. I didn't know. Like, Is that some kind of chili something? <laughs> I couldn't tell what it was. It was like I, I licked the uh, drippings off of it. And it kind of tasted like a bit like chili, but without the spice. I just took it out, set it on, set it on a napkin. Um, and then I had um, tajin, 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 um, around the rim of the glass. This was a big glass too, <laughs> but I managed to finish that drink. I said I am not wasting that drink, not for fourteen dollars. That drink was fourteen dollars. So um, these are. Um, and I think my plate of food was 16 and Andy's I think was about 12 or 14 so it was a little on the expensive side you know of course I'm cheap so everything probably could have been expensive but it was really good so we were uh, weren't disappointed at least so and we got done there and it was service was fast y'all we went in there and then we got there probably right before six o'clock um by the time we were like riding around looking we, we we left the theater we drove around and it's in like this little mini like downtown area but it's like it's a pretty big area a decent sized area and so when we figured out where the restaurant was that we were wanting to go to we was like you know what we could have just walked because it's like right across from the movie theater so we drove back and parked and parked again back at the movie theater and just walked across um and then i think i said well, i think we got done there um I mean, we were in and out within, I don't know, 45 minutes at, at most. And we were, we were, we got set down and somebody uh, came and got our drink order and I ordered my adult drink. He ordered his um, tea or whatever it was he had. And... Uh, my drink took a little longer to make, but we were like really, literally right there at the bar. Um, like within 
10 feet of the bar. <laughs> but we were sitting at a table. Um, and we went ahead and gave them our order. And we, we only waited maybe 10 minutes um, between the guy getting our food order and the food actually coming out. And I'm like, dang, that was fast. It was like so fast. So we, we ate and so we were out of there pretty quick. So these, these are the long um, ones that were, they try to advertise like on the side that looks like they're prism, but they're not. <laughs> it just looked like that. Yeah, oops. But anyway, but yeah, the food was really good. We enjoyed the movie. We had a great night. Um, wish I didn't have to pay my son to babysit his little sister. But, you know, he's he was about to start a job um, the next day. So, he was a little strapped on cash. So, Mama's going to help out a little bit, what I can. So, um, so, that was good. But, we went and saw... Well, we didn't go anywhere and see. Um, last night, we watched... The new Descendants movie that came out eh, somewhat recently. I mean, it hasn't been out too long, I don't think. It's uh, Descendants Rise of Red. That one was a little bit more disappointing. Um, the... Y'all. The, pl the plot on that thing, it's... The movie moves along. It, it's fast but it's slow at the same time. It's it's hard to describe. These are ballet. I already know. Um, but like, they go back in time um, to save what becomes of her mother and Cinderella's mother. Uh, well, the... Cinderella, basically, because it's Cinderella's daughter that teams up with the daughter of the Queen of Hearts. Um, so, they go back in time to when their parents were teenagers attending this school. And they go to try to stop something from happening because um they find out that um the queen of hearts became mean because a prank was pulled on her um the day of the homecoming castle coming um so they go and try to stop it from happening so that the queen of hearts doesn't turn um, murderous, um, and to save the, the Cinderella's daughter, mom, whatever, <laughs> because, you know, anyway, so they go, did I buy these twice? Maybe not, it just looks like it, um, and, so, my main issue, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give y'all a spoiler. We never actually see what the prank was. Um, there's something that happens when they first get there. And it is Uma, who is another character from the second and third Descendants movies. It is um, Ursula's daughter. But we meet Ursula's baby sister, and she is, without a doubt, she's a bully, and is bullying the Queen of Hearts as a teenager. Um, I don't even remember what her name is. Aubrey? No, it's not Aubrey. Um, I don't even know what the girl's name is in real life. Bridget. It's Bridget. Um, 
is obviously bullying Bridget. And so they think, oh, this is the person that's going to pull the prank on Bridget um, the day of the dance, or the, the day of the big day. So they steal a book and everything is wrapped up in a bow. They return back to their own time. Everything is fixed. Everything's hunky-dory. We don't get to see what the prank was. We don't even get to see if this um, Uma's baby sister, uh, Ursula's baby sister, we don't even get to see if she's the one that actually pulled the prank. We don't actually know evidence who did it or even what happened. Um, there is just a throwaway line that she was embarrassed and turned into an animal. That's all we get. Um, we don't know what happened. We don't know who actually did it. It's just, you know, they see that this girl is being a bully and towards her and like, oh, she's the one. That, that bothers me, y'all. That bothers me to no end. I can't stand that. And it's like, as soon as this big, um, sorry if I'm getting spoilers, y'all, but they do, they steal this book out of the principal's office and then over and done with they return to their own time and everything's fixed um because the um the bully is now in detention because they got frozen in the process and got caught by um the principal aka merlin um it's it, it it annoyed me and him so bad is that the movie is moving along at a pace and then the last five minutes of the movie you have this big big action sequence they get the book they return home that's it the movie literally drops off of a story the last like five minutes um book stolen bully frozen and in detention everything's hunky-dory that we yeah <laughs> it just annoyed us so bad and um my older daughter i had posted about it on facebook and she's like yeah um i i kind of thought that too what am i doing okay um, but I do have to say, I, I, we weren't a fan of most of the songs in the movie. Um, there's a, maybe one or two that I thought were okay. Um, the, the intro song, when we first see Red, um, parkouring and jumping around. Um, the castle trying to get back to her room without getting caught um uh that song and then there's one about a quarter of the way into the movie um and that one is sung by um the the queen of hearts it says love ain't it i do i did kind of like that one um but I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of part, not partial to Rita Ora, but I, I kind of like Rita Ora as it is. Um, and she is playing the queen of hearts, by the way. Um, both of the moms of the two main characters are played by, um, musical music stars. Um. Cinderella, aka the mom of the main teenage girl, is played by Brandy. And a lot of people were really excited that she came back to portray Cinderella um, after 
playing Cinderella in a movie years ago. These are really long and I don't know if I'm gonna have room for them. I'm trying to put I'm trying to fit them in. They they're barely um <laughs> the um compartment is barely big enough. Um, so I don't know if these are gonna stay like that or not. But and a lot of people were excited about Brandy returning to play Cinderella and the, um, the other guy, like the Asian guy. I don't know his name, guys. I'm sorry. I just know he looks Asian. Um, he returned as, he was returning as uh, Charming. Um, King Charming now. So, but I don't know. I wasn't a fan of Brandy's portrayal of Cinderella. I'm sorry. Um, she was just very soft-spoken and just not a fan. Uh, I'll just drop those. I need to find out where those went. Right there. Um, but yeah. Have y'all seen any of those movies if you have let me know um we also got around we also watched the first uh first part of the new season of cobra kai uh, on netflix and the they're doing this last season in parts um, i think they're doing it in three parts if i'm not mistaken um, but the first part came out and we watched it over the course of a couple of nights because it's only like six episodes um, and I think the second part is about the same and it comes out I want to say the second part comes out here in August um, but we watched that and it was pretty good so I'm, I'm liking Cobra Kai and I was never a Karate Kid um, type of person. So, uh, but I, I am liking the Cobra Kai, even though I was never big into Karate Kid. Go figure. Um, even now, I have that. Um, the main tagline from that Love Ain't It song circling around in my head. I'm telling y'all, I, I had a, a Facebook memory come up one day, and it still holds true to this day, that even if I don't have music physically playing in my car, I'm going to drop some nails. Even if I don't have music actually playing in my car, the uh, music that's usually running on loop in my head will usually keep me company. Um, that is the gold tip. Where was that? Thing? Lord, which one is this? So I always have some music playing in my head. Um, but. I think that's all I'm gonna be all right now. Um, I'm gonna finish this up. Y'all don't need to see another hour of me doing this. Probably not. Cause I don't have a lot of stuff, a lot to talk about. Um, yeah. I don't have a lot to talk about guys, I'm sorry. But I'm gonna finish this up and I'm gonna let y'all go. Um, I hope y'all had fun hanging out with me and listening to me yammer on. And um, I'll see y'all again real soon with another Timu haul because I have lots. Um, where did that go? Sorry. Um, because I, I probably will have some time tomorrow evening to do, to film another haul, maybe two, uh, 
and he's going to be going to a wrestling match and he's going to be leaving probably about three o'clock or so um because he's got to go pick up um somebody that he's going going with and then they're going to um go find somewhere to eat for get some some dinner early dinner first and then go to the match which i think is about an hour hour and a half away so but i'm gonna talk to y'all later i will see you guys again soon be good guys bye for now okay guys so okay. they're all they're all organized um at least the ones that i have up to this point uh there are still a few moot orders back there in the closet. I am sure there are plenty of nails in those bags. So, this is what we got for right now. Um, I did fill up the... This is what I already had filled up. So, we started on that box. Um, I got put some more in the long nail box. Um, these ones right here. Those are so long, guys. They almost don't even fit in the space. Um, that's my long nail box. Um, got some more done on the squares. That was a new box I just opened. Um, and then we have some more. Is that square? Yeah, that's a square. Um, and then I had filled up some more, um, like all of this in here. Of that box, so. Um, so lots of squares added, definitely. Um, so lots of nails added. Oh yeah, um, this one, I had added some more to that one. That one's the ballet and, um, coffin nails. So this was only, this is only a 24 compartment. So, I may end up having to move these over to a different box. Um, I did find some duplicates of nails that I've ordered twice. Uh, this is one of them. <laughs> those right there, the kind of purplish ones, uh, those are a uh, double order. And there was another order of these. I I found these. I've already previously ordered them. They're already in the box. Um, there was another one that I had ordered twice. I don't recall which one that is. There was another one in here somewhere that I ordered twice. I don't know. I don't remember. But I think there was another one in there somewhere that I ordered twice. But either or, um, all those are put up. I still have the all the handmade nails that I am saving to put in the special box as soon as I get the tape for it. Um, the ones that I have in here now, there was like two dozen, 24, I actually counted them, there were 24 packs of the handmade nails that still need to be put away, including, not including, in addition to these right here that also need to be put in that box whenever I get the tape. So, I'm going to start wearing the hand manuals, y'all. Even if it's just with the adhesive tabs over a week for the weekend. Um, like for cashiering for the weekend. Um, I'm going to start trying to make more use of my hand nails. Because those are some really pretty nails and they seem like they're really good quality. At least most of them do. But that's all I got for y'all right now. I have a mountain of false nail empty boxes over here. It's so funny. That's a lot of boxes, y'all. <laughs> um, I don't even know how many boxes that is. But that's a lot. Uh, and I'll, I'll take a picture and I'll show you. But yeah. Putting them in these compartment boxes definitely saves a lot of space. Um, in this one con container, I've got these, all of these boxes of nails. Um, this one was, this one came like that. Um, this is another box of plain ones that came like that. 
some more. I think this one is a duplicate right here. These kind of pink and purple ones. These ones are here. I think that's a duplicate. Or, or did I put the other ones? No, they're a different color. <laughs> the ones I just unboxed are a little bit darker. But yeah. That's actually way less space than trying to save all of those um, individual boxes. So, well, I gotta put them back. <laughs> I gotta put them back. And I'm gonna have to, at some point, um, transfer out of these 24 pack boxes. But, you know, it is what it is. I'm gonna put these in here first, because face. Okay. But yeah. Um, that's all, guys. Um, I will insert a picture here at the end of the mountain of nail, empty nail boxes. So, definitely gonna let y'all go now. I'm going to, I'm sorry, I'm finishing up watching Aaron's video. And I'm about to turn everything off and go to bed because I'm tired. And I think Abby's actually asleep now. And it's been like another hour, I think, since I um since I first left you guys in that last clip. So it took a while, and I did not have enough stuff to talk about to last another hour. Maybe next time I have to do this, maybe I'll go live if I can. So, but. I'm definitely going to see y'all guys again later. I will um, hope you guys have a good rest of your day, rest of your week, rest of your month, whenever um, whenever I get to see you again. But it'll it'll hopefully be soon. It'll be soon. I promise. But uh, I will see you soon. Y'all. My brain is fried. I'll see you guys again soon. And until then, be good, guys. Bye for now.